one of my many workshops. So, uh, I wonder, or I would ask you, what do you think is behind this uh, door? What kind of airliner do you think? Well, you uh, clicked on this video, so I think you kind of know what you're going to see when I open this up. Check this out. Bet you're not expecting this. It's not every day you see one of these in the RC world. Convair 990, American Airlines. Currently under construction. No, you definitely don't see one of these every day in the RC world. She is 7.8 feet long, almost hair under 8 feet. Wingspan, about 7 foot wingspan. And uh, she's big. I mean, you know, she's bigger than the uh, Lufthansa 300. She's bigger than the Norwegian 737 MAX 7. Uh, she's even uh, four inches longer than the uh, JAL 880, which is 88 inches long. This girl is 92 inches long, 7.8 feet long. And, uh, yep. Look at that, man. That is something you don't see every day. Right there, that's the money shot. Look at that, man. But the speed bumps on the wings, which were former fuel tanks, which, uh, because of buffeting in flight, uh, had to be emptied and couldn't be, couldn't carry fuel. Look at that, there's your classic 990 wing shot right there. Look at that, man. Yep, this is going to be the American Airlines 990. Um, not with the White Eagle on the tail, but the one with the red, with the red uh, control surfaces. It has American, this one, that, yeah, that one. That, yeah, that one. Yep. And she's going to run four of these JP Hobby 70 millimeter EDFs optimized for six cell 22.2 volt lipos, putting out a whopping six pounds of thrust each. So 24 pounds of thrust out of this girl. And she only weighs, she's going to weigh maybe, maybe 10 or 11 pounds in the air. So giddy up. Pretty good looking EDF. Very good looking EDF. Yeah, she's enormous. Very big bird, as you can see. But you know nothing like the 13-foot uh, Lufthansa 7799X. I mean, this is this is uh, a walk in the park compared to that girl. Now that that thing is a monstrous monstrosity. This thing at 7.8 feet long is at 92 inches is nothing. I mean, this is this is a breeze to build. And nothing says Convair 990 Coronado like those speed bumps, man. or anti-shock waves as they call them. They ride off of the wing to try and break up um, um, you know when you get close to Mach, Mach 1 you get uh, you get shock waves that form on the wings and they ride across the wing, the surface of the wing. These uh, anti-shock uh, blisters or bumps uh, basically help break that up and smooth airflow across the wings. So unfortunately, wings. So unfortunately, though, once they were filled with fuel, the rear end, the back end of them would uh, would shake. They would they would kind of vibrate, and uh, obviously that just didn't work in flight. You can't, you can't have that. Because eventually you could, you know, cause the wing to break up, cause stress, fatigue cracks, stress cracks, things like that. So we got a, um, her nose is, um, 
uh, molded um, fiberglass made from a mold that I made. Her tail section, same lower, the lower portion is uh, fiberglass as well, yet to be added. Oh yeah. A lot of people naturally ask, what's the big difference between the uh, Convair 990 and the 880? Well, the biggest thing is obviously the uh, trailing edge wing speed bumps. That's obviously one of the most um, uh, noticeable differences between the 880 and the 990. Another thing, obviously, are the engine nacelles. Now, the engines... Um, on the uh, 990 were different because they they were turbofans and uh, the turbofan actual main compressor um, was not in the front of the engine but it was actually in the rear portion so you had an intake you had two into you had a bypass intake a rate high ratio bypass intake that went around the core of the uh, engine and then the fan of the uh, engine and then the fan spun the wide uh, turbo fan was in the back and that was a big difference between the eight uh, turbo fan was in the back and that was a big difference between the 880 and the 990 and another difference obviously is that the 990 is longer the fuselage the fuselage was longer um, than the 880 it had longer fuselage same wingspan same wingspan same tail section same landing gear same nose gear uh, same doors same cockpit same elevator same tail now here's something that a lot of people miss on the 990 and the 880 do you see it yet do you see it yet? Do you see it? That's it right there. The dog tooth. The 990 has a dog tooth wing and a wider uh, um, wing area. It has, more, it has a greater wing area than the 880 did because of this dog tooth right here. From the outboard number two. Because of this dog tooth right here, from the outboard number, from the inboard number two, and the inboard number three engines, there's a dog tooth that uh, is apparent, and the 880 does not have that, and the leading edge slats, or Fowler Fowler flaps, or leading edge uh, slats on the 990, are different from the 880. On the 880. The leading edge slats, the actual entire leading edge droops down and moves down. But on the 990, the leading edge slats is an actual lower flap that comes out very much like on a Boeing 747 or a 727 uh, inner, um, inner slat. And the outer slat on the inner slat and the outer slat on the 727 comes down like the 880s did but on the 990 the inner slat on like a 747 I guess you call it a Kruger kind of a Kruger slat I guess you got the Fowler flap but you got a Kruger slat and on the 990 it's like a Kruger slat and obviously the dog tooth adding more wing area than the 880 did so the 880s wing would run all the way straight without the dog tooth. That's the big difference. That's the that's the big difference in the wing. Obviously, you got you got the speed bumps there. You got the anti shock bumps. That's the big difference. So when you're when you're looking at the 880 and the 990, those are your uh, those are the big giveaways between the 880 and the 990 that uh, differentiate the two the two types. Convair 990 American Airlines currently under construction. She's being built. 
Uh, hopefully she'll be finished probably in the fall of this year. I would love to, I, I mean, I'd love to snap my finger and have this thing done now. <laughs> I can't, this, this is an awesome plane to have done. I mean, I get, uh, yeah, I, I have, I have dreams about this thing uh, flying over my head on a maiden flight. I cannot wait to see the American 990 flying. But in addition to this, I'm also building the Swiss Air 990 and I'm building the Spanish. The Swiss Air 990, and I'm building the Spantax 990 of Spain, of España, and for the 90 of Spain, of España, and for the 880, I'm still doing the Delta, um, the beautiful white, beautiful white white Delta 880, and I'm building the Northeast white Delta 880, and I'm building the Northeast 880 as well. So I'm making those birds. 880 as well. So I'm making those birds. So uh, yeah, there's going to be two more of these 990s and two more 880s after the JAL uh, 880. So yes indeed, man. So expect some really cool stuff. The next video you're going to see of this girl right here will be her taxi test. That'll be the next video of this plane will be her taxi test and then the maiden flight. So probably fall this year, maybe even winter this year. And by that time, we are going to be through all these hard times and all this stuff that's going on right now with uh, the COVID-19. We're going to be done that. We're all going to be healthy. We're going to be happy. We're going to be back to, back to flying, back to living life and enjoying life and working hard, doing all those things, and uh, we're going to get through this, guys. We're going to get through this little tough time in human history. This is part of being human beings. This is part of our world. Uh, these things pop up, they spring up, and then they they go away. It's part of being a human being. Nothing you can do about it. Just stay safe and have faith in, uh, in the big man upstairs, and have faith in your family and, and you know, your loved ones. And, uh, Again, like I said in the last video, just be healthy, be safe, be smart. And if you can and you have the ability, build some, scratch build some RC airplanes, man. Scratch build a 990, scratch build something. I don't care what it is. If you have a little free time and you have some foam and some cardboard and carbon fiber, think about scratch building an airplane. I think uh, at the end of the day, you're going to really enjoy it. It's going to really add some spice to your life. It's going to make life a lot, a lot more interesting. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, as always, my friends, Demon Driver here. Be safe. Be healthy. God bless.